I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are, young lady. You may be a young lady, you may be middle-aged, you may be an older woman, but it's just in my spirit to tell you, girl, that man ain't got no socks on. Girl, that man's not wearing no socks. He looks good, doesn't he? He's in that suit, looking really good, talking right, walking right, sounding right. He might be in the church busy right, but the Lord has been showing you some things that's peeking out and you're trying to ignore it. You're looking at everything about him, whether it's looks or his position or his bank account or his cars or whatever he's telling you and maybe how he may be making you feel. But yet and still you feel God speaking to you. And I'm here to tell you just what the Lord has told me to tell you. That man ain't got no socks on. He's not wearing any socks. Now this is figurative, but it has spiritual implications behind it. Imagine a man well-dressed. He looks good. What he's wearing is his story. What he's wearing is his persona, what he wants you to see. He looks good. He looks like he's together. The suit is polished. It looks really nice. It's a nice brand. His shoes look good, but what you're not aware of is what's underneath and what's hidden. He has no socks on with that nice expensive suit. And no, he's not wearing them sandal type Stacy Adams shoes. He's supposed to have socks on with this suit and with this type of outfit, but he's not wearing any socks. And guess what? No belt. But see, he set that suit just right. It looked good. He buttoned it up. You can't tell. He looked like he's together, doesn't he? But the belt of truth that Ephesians 6 talks about is missing. He dresses up what you see. But that suit, the suit, my sisters, looks so good. That's his story. That's what he's put together for you. Custom made. Because you see, he's analyzed the type of woman that you are. And so he knows he has to present himself a certain way. But the Lord has been opening up your eyes and showing you what you call red flags. It is discernment. The Holy Spirit is opening up your eyes and showing you what is there. And it's up to you whether you are going to obey God or not. Or go along with this guy. You have to get out of this mindset of thinking you're never going to find someone like this person again. People may be telling you, girl, he's in church and he's preaching and he's teaching and he's a prophet and girl, he's doing this. Ladies, just earlier last month, a young woman, she was in her late 20s, was murdered by her husband. He looked good. They both looked good. He was a fairly handsome guy, in my opinion. And she was a beautiful woman and he was a prophet and he had a church and he had following. But guys, there's a video out there that shows their wonderful wedding. It looked like something out of coming to America, a beautiful wedding. And it follow, it's followed by a video of this young woman's brother holding him down and punching him because he, this pastor attacked this woman attacked, attacked his wife, who was um, this guy's sister, while they're there. And on camera, he threatens to kill her. And he goes out the very next day and shoots this woman point blank in broad daylight in front of her job. This lady died not too long ago. Lost her life. Pay attention to the warning signs. Stop pushing despite the warnings. 
Pay attention to what you see. Pay attention to the what the to what the Lord is showing you. Don't get mad at that woman for reaching out to you. Don't get upset with someone for calling you up and bringing exposure. That man has no socks on. Don't think that they're just jealous of your relationship. He's not wearing a belt under that fancy suit. As a matter of fact, it's not his suit, sister. This is all a facade because this is not how he is. I hope you're following me. I hope you understand me. Whoever's listening to me, you need to know this. God is calling you out of this relationship. This man may be talking about marriage. This man may be talking about the future. This man may be talking about a lot of different things, but I'm here to tell you that when God shows you the truth, believe him. This word is a bit comical, but there's a seriousness to this. Him not wearing any socks means that there's something he's hiding. He looks good. He's decked out from head to toe. But there's some things that are hidden. Everything is not the way it seems. That's what it means. He's in a nice suit. You would think he has dress socks on. He has none on. And he's not wearing a belt. It's not what it seems, ladies. When God reveals to you and he opens up your eyes, listen to him. Stop letting the enemy think that this is going to be the last man ever. It might be the last man you ever see once he gets done with you. The Lord has given you a window where you can walk away. Sometimes, sometimes, guys, the things that we read about is because all the warning signs were ignored. And when they were supposed to leave and they had the opportunity to leave, they did not. And they stayed longer than they needed to. Or they went ahead and married the person. Or they went ahead, they went back to the individual after God said to go. And then that's the last time. They were able to enter on their feet and came out in a body bag or ended up getting killed. The enemy goes about like a roaring lion, guys, seeking whom he may devour. And there's a time that God will hold the lion back and say, you can go. And it is your window to leave. It is your window to end this relationship and it will end. But when you wait or when you go back, you are in great danger. That man ain't got no socks on, ladies. He is not wearing any socks. Everything is not as it seems. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Take heed to that red flag, the discernment. Pay attention to what has been discovered and what the Lord has shown you. Close out this relationship.